this is Relay for Life and um, it's with the American Cancer Society and this is um, a benefit that we have, it's annual and we have it every year. We have teams and they fundraise all year long and the money goes to the American Cancer Society. My name is Melanie Kerstetter and I am the chair and this is Jeff Floyd. He's a, a team captain and also a committee member. He's had a team for 11 years and this is his wife Jackie Floyd and this is Amy Schenor. She's co-chair and anything else that needs to be done. <laughs> committee member too. What kind of events are going on today? What else is going to happen? Well, um, earlier today, uh, when we began, we had a um, the singing colonels were here, and we had the sweet Adelines, and then we had the survivors and the caregivers come, and the survivors take the traditional first lap around the track, and um, and then they come into a survivor luncheon, and we celebrate them and honor them, and uh, by with food and prizes and fun. And um, then throughout the day, we have uh, live band performances, food, raffles, Zumba's going on right now, all kinds of fun stuff. And then I guess you have some evening activities as well, too. Yes, we do. We have things in the evening. Um, at dusk, we actually have a luminary ceremony, and that is where um, people can buy a luminary in honor of or in memory of someone special. And we light those, and then um, there are no lights. The only thing that is lit are the bags with actual really candles. And then they. Um, uh, we walk around them and a moment of silence to honor them and their names are read aloud as we do that. And then throughout that we stay awake all night long, it's an 18 hour event and the reason we do 18 hours is because cancer never sleeps, so we're not going to sleep tonight either. Okay, so how long has that event been going on here in Lawrence County? Uh, it, it, I'm not sure when it started back up, but 11 years ago. I think there was a little, a few years that they didn't have one, but 11 years ago it started back. Um, and has it grown over the years, or how uh, how has it changed? Has it changed at all over the years? Yeah, I think um, I think financially it has grown over the years. Um, we've been able to raise more money, and uh, fundraisers are still going on today as we as we uh, finish up today. As a matter of fact, I'm getting ready to go get a haircut. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, so. Well, right now, um, the salon Curl Up and Die is um, having a haircut um, for donation 2 to 5 o'clock. They're doing that. There's hair paint. What happened to your hair? We dyed it. Yeah. Spray painted it. Spray painted it? Yes. How come? Because we were in the mood to. Because we were in the mood to. And we wanted to celebrate cancer. Yeah. Pink and purple. Pink and purple, huh? Yeah. You guys did a good job. You look good. Thank you. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. There's inflatables here. Um, there, uh, right now, like I said earlier, Zumba is going on. We have cornhole competition. We have battle of the sexes. We have the bands um, raised on radio, and we also have the band, the Christian rock band Allure, this evening. And also um, this evening, we always have fun activities throughout the night too. We have bingo. We have um, there's a jump rope marathon. All kinds of cool stuff. That's good. Thank you. <laughs> Donate I'm Thayer Flynn and I'm with National Honor Society. Um, I'm Shana Garrett and I'm with Fairland High School Student Council. Well, we're just trying to raise money, help, uh, help with cancer awareness, and just have a good time. Uh, what kind of things y'all doing? Um, we're we have food like for the bake sale to raise money. We made some like brownies and cupcakes, and we're gonna do limbo and Zumba and stuff like that. Sell some shirts. Uh, how many uh, kids from your school come out today? Um, with the Fairland National Honor Society, we probably have about, I'd say about 20, maybe 15 or so kids. 
Yeah, with the student council, it's about um, 20, but if people wanted to join the team, they could join without being on student council. So why did you all decide to get involved with this, with uh, Relay for Life? Um, it's really good. It's good. Um, it's good for the community, and it's good to just raise money and awareness for cancer. And it's really important um, to me be personally because I have family that have had breast cancer and stuff like that. Yeah. I also I have a grandma right now that's battling cancer, so it's just it's just, it's hard. So you want to help out in any way, in any form you can to uh, help raise awareness and money for it. Well, that sounds great. I mean, anything that I haven't talked about you all want to add or whatever it is? Or, oh, that sounds good. Yep. Okay. Are you glad school's out? Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, school's it's ready out for, for summer. summer. My, my name is Michelle, and we're the Firewalkers. We are going to walk to put out cancer's flame. We have did a boot drive. We are at the actual, we're the fire department. We're a Roman volunteer fire department. We did a boot drive. We did a hot dog sale. We did, we're doing the bounce house and selling hot dogs today and our raffle. It's going good. We have raised almost $5,500. Uh, we just thought it would be good for the community to get out and get in the community and help help other people that needed help. Can you give us an idea of how much money is raised, like from what's happened in the past or just a, a rough? Well, last year, in 2012, we raised about $85,000, and the year before that, we raised $98,000, and so this year, we we don't have any idea right now. Hopefully, you know, because people turn in money up until the very end of Relay, and we have some teams actually hold all their money, and they want to surprise us of how much money they've raised. No, I'm not mentioning, no any, I'm not mentioning <laughs> any names, Mr. Floyd, yeah. but anyway, we have that happen, too, so it's a lot of fun, and it, I've always we said any money is wonderful money so I I there's it's just great every penny is wonderful so how did uh, how did you get involved what, what made you get involved in all that well, actually I got involved in a relay um, because I was with some friends at a relay and um, some people tell me that I'm a control person and so I thought well I can do this maybe on my own or maybe just a little better I don't know so I got involved and had a team and um, so I've had a team every year up until last year and it's just hard to be the chair and also have a team but that's how I got involved and I'm really glad that I have. Anybody else want to talk about how you got, got into it or got involved in it? Why? Um, well I got involved because my mom was a cancer survivor and also my uncle and Relay for Life was just really good. He lived in Columbus and they were really good about helping with motel bills and getting them uh, gasoline and meals, just whatever they can to uh, support that person who's fighting cancer. Yes, the American Cancer Society is amazing with that because they have facilities like Hope Lodge, like they do at Cleveland Clinic, where you can actually stay in a facility and that way you don't have to pay for a hotel bill. Um, they're really great about other things too, like um, I'm not sure of the exact program, but, but they will provide um, wigs and they will provide um, just any type of motivational things to help people out. You know, there's um, the 1-800 cancer number they can call and um, there's all kinds of information out there that's totally free. Uh, any idea, I mean, past this year, for the future, any plans, any expectations? Well, actually, you know, we just hope to see it grow throughout the community. And this is the first year we've had it at the fairground. I think everybody's really enjoyed it. And so you never know. You know, uh, everybody starts planning in the fall for the prior year. So um, every year there are new people. And um, so we'll welcome them and, you know, see what happens. Well, that's really all I have. Anybody want to add anything? I know a couple of you haven't said anything at all. So uh, <laughs> anybody have anything to say? Uh, Melanie asked me to participate in Relay after I'd volunteered for a couple of years and um, my dad's in Boston and I know the money we raise here benefits you know people all over the country not just here some stays local and some goes national so I'm happy to do that for him yeah and ironically enough um, this being my eighth year involved in Relay um, my 24 year old son was diagnosed with brain cancer just this February so um, this year is something very special to me and um, so it's a whole new meeting. We're here to help her. Oh, thank you. Thank you. That's right. Thank you guys.